pull around. There it is. <laughs> Happy days. We'll just get straight on with it. Right then guys, welcome to another episode of Hooked. My name's John Murray and I'm an angling addict and today I'm down at Westlands Lakes and I'm actually fishing the Tench Lake. Now I've been here a couple of times before, I've fished the Middle Lake before and uh, more recently, a couple of days back, I fished the Little Tench Lake. Both of those lakes were predominantly F1 fishing. This lake is supposed to be more heavily stocked with Tench and Bream. <laughs> I'm not entirely convinced about that because I've uh, seen a few reports on this place and seeing big F1s and carp coming out of it. Um, now then, I've picked Peg 11 today. It's actually the deepest corner of the lake and uh, I've got a really good depth um, fishing the top four. And I've probably got about somewhere in the order of, well, I'd say it's eight or nine foot deep. And that's just off basically the top, uh, top six. And um, so what I've decided to do is uh, set up a 0.75 gram Drennan G-Tip 2 float. And that's basically shotted with stots. And if we can get down to them, those are just trim shots, so ignore those really. I've got a strung out bulk of number eight stots. And then a couple of number eight stots droppers going down to a size 18 Drennan wide gate pellet hook. That's all on 0.17 mainline, 0.17 bottom, and a size 13 Duraslip elastic. The only other rigs I've set up today are a shallow rig and a mugging rig. The shallow rigs, you've seen them all before. Uh, 0.2 gram little Drennan crystal dibber, inline dibber. And then we've basically got four number eight droppers there with about eight inches from, uh, from float to hook. Um, we can fish bands on that, that one's knackered there, it's been on before but we'll swap the hook out before we start and uh, probably just fish a size 18 pellet hook again. These little bands which serves tying them on, and they've got the, uh, the little iron loop attachment as you can see that. So they're perfect for either putting a natural piece of bait on so you can take the band off or again you can put the band back on, go on a wafter, 6mm pellet, 4mm pellet, whatever you need to do really. And the mugging rig is uh, a new fish mugger and it's in 4b12s pattern we've got three number eight stots directly below the float 0.17 mainline 0.17 bottom size 16 wide gate pellet hook again we've got a band on that but this one's uh, actually a tied up band and um, yeah I'm just gonna fish a wafter on that I think or we may put a standard pellet on but the wafter tends to sink slower so it gives us a bit more time there's a roundabout a meter of line so best part of the top kit so you've got a good distance two two and a half foot something like that that you can flick beyond the pole try and catch those wary fish out for the deck line i've just mixed up some neat swim steam green so that's the swim steam green if you've not seen that before and then in terms of baits we've just got the usual arrangement i've got some corn my fishery micros, fishery four mils, I've got a few fishery six mils to try on the hook if I need them, wafters, banded, banded wafters etc and I've checked these with the old dynamite sweet F1 pellet stoke. Right guys if you haven't already go and subscribe to the channel it's completely free. Give the video a thumbs up and give it a share if you would. Right let's get the uh, swim kicked off, just going to pop in one ball of the swim stim. I'm actually going to fish this straight out in front of me. It might seem, oh look at the fish chopping. It might seem a bit strange that I'm not going to the tree, but the bottom is cutting away. So it's getting deeper until about this point where I am now, straight out in front. And then it starts to be fairly level on this line. The further out I go that way, it's still getting deeper. Thank you. 
Then I'm just going to pop some corn and a few fishery farm mills in. So that's it, that's all I'm feeding on there to start with. Right, I'm not actually going to start on that line. I'm going to see if we can get a crafty carp out with the mugging rig. Sun's in and out, when it does come out, I can see them. I don't know if they've just gone round the corner of the tree at this moment in time. There was a number of carp sat right underneath where I am now. Right, we'll come off that. I can't see any of the carp at this moment in time. We'll just keep our eye out for them coming back. Let's go straight on the deck rig. Lump of corn on. So I'm just direct hooking it. Well that float's sitting proud and it's uh, leaning already. So something grabbed the corn on the way down. Yeah. What on earth is that? It didn't take long. Nice quality roach to start. Nice start. Now I may start feeding four mil shallow. Yeah, we're getting plenty of bites on corn. Just give that a little lift and lower. So many fish in the upper layers. I get the feeling if you're going to... Oh, something just flipped over there. I think I just get the feeling if you're going to uh, catch a really good fish, you'll get it on the deck. You know, the, the bream and the tench at least. And I'd love to get a tench out today. But the fish might dictate how we're going to fish this. There's so many in the upper layers. I suppose the beauty is we can feed the pellet over the top. Any that don't get mopped up on the way down will settle over this line. So I may not even have to fish a long line. It's clouding over. Did this the other day and uh, that put paid to the mugging rig. Oh, I've caught a fish here with, while I'm shipping out on corn. So I think we might end up going shallow here. That's another roach. Or is it a rud? That's a rud. Bonny fish. The rig's not even getting a chance to sell. I think we're going to have to go shallow here. Keep dropping on this deep line as we build the feed up. Fish topping everywhere. Go on. Crazy bites. Something swimming off with it. So fishing corn might be an issue. Unless I bait spike it. Um, yeah, I could do that. I could put a bait spike on. that will keep it on better. Now then, let's go shallow. So I'm going to feed four mils and fish a six. I 
and feed that by hand. There she on. Oh, what a lovely roach that is. We're at sixes and sevens here. <laughs> Beautiful fish. Another fish on. There's another rod. So, seem to have an awful lot of uh, silvers in this swim. Right away, as soon as I dropped in there, fish on. This is a stamp roach. Boom. Oh my goodness me. Big old roach these. Well, hooks out in the net. But we're getting him out for a look. Look at that. Fin perfect. Gorgeous fish. Definitely a wild blustery day. Oh, oh. I pulled a bit hard on that one. There she on.
you really would be happy catching them on light, light tackle. They've just gone a little bit cagey. See the rud swimming out from around the trees when the sun comes out. That bit of sun, it just brings them up. Struggling to take one right now. Might have to go a bit deeper. Right, I'm just going to utilise my mugging rig because it's set a little bit deeper. It's got a longer lash on it, which uh, might just assist if they're spooking away from the pole. Yeah, put a six mil on there. Oh, lost that one. Just that little bit of depth. Fish on. It was a decent fish as well. This don't feel like no roach. Could be an F1. Tell you what, he's trying to get under them trees. Could be a carp this. That is going. He's under them trees. Just steady pressure. Try and bring him back. Oh, it's a tench. Great big tench. Ah, oh, he's well under that tree. Just holding station here. My goodness me. He does not want to give in. Trying to get under those trees. I think. I think we've got him under control, but <laughs> this is where we've got the heavy gear on. He's still trying to get under that tree in this corner. It's a big old tench is this. Good fish, good grief, he's still fighting. He's going back for that tree. Try and gather a bit of elastic. Stop him getting back under there. Oh, look at this. What a fish. <laughs> That's an absolute beauty. No wonder that gave me a fight. Wow. Big old male, I think.
and try and get him up for the camera for you. Look at that, guys. What about that? <laughs> cracking, cracking tench. That's why we came on this lake. Well, just when you least expect it, eh? Big tench, shallow, mugging rig. He definitely knew where he wanted to go. Getting a bite every drop in at the moment, but I think they're all silvers because I can't hit them on this mugging rig. It's just too much lash of line. If there's, I know there's carp knocking about. If there's more of those tench, well, we've got to stay on this gear. The well, wind's getting a bit crazy at times, but it's not too bad fishing the short pole. There's definitely fish coming shallow, but I want to have a look on the deep rig again. have to get some serious bait down on it. See if we can get a few fish on the bottom. They just might not want to be there today. That went straight away. Oh, and seems a really good bait in here. Yeah, small fish though. Absolutely shredded that comb by the looks of it. Float well, never settled. this. It's not fighting super hard but it's having a little bit of a go. <laughs> Moving all over. There's a roach. Right, I'm going to top this swim up. Really get some bait down on it. So a good helping of corn. Two handfuls of pellets. Another quality roach. Taking on corn.
Well, it does seem a little bit slow on the corn now. Maybe the big top ups just slowed them off a bit. Not tried the pellet on the deck yet. So that's an option. We'll just go back on the mugging rig for the time being. Although it's clouded over again. Hopefully it won't last too long. Definitely some decent fish coming up. Nailed one near the tree. I'm just going to take the band off and try corn shallow. We've already caught on it shipping out. I'm just going back on the little slapping rig. There we go. <clears throat> Just had to let them hook themselves. I'm not used to catching this many roach shallow like this. Normally it's hide. Let's flick a bit of corn out there as well. Fish on. It's a beautiful road. Lovely fish. Look at the colours on that. Some good fish topping out there. See if I'll come a bit closer. Fish on. Another bunny fish. Another one on. Really coming on song now. That's a rod.
that pellet got hit about six or seven times before that fish hooked itself. Another immaculate one. Fish on. Feels a bit better. Nice big roach, I think. Got some fight. Lovely. Oh, decent fish on. This might be a bream. Either that or it's a very big roach. Or is it a tench? I don't know. I think it could be a small tench. That's an F1. I wondered how long it'd be before they made an appearance, but uh, looks like they're here now. Fish on. That feels like another F1. Yep, another nice one. Fish on. It's a roach again. So, where's the F1s gone? Absolute stampers these. Quality. I'm just going to pick the deck rig up again. It's gone strangely quiet.
on the shallow line could be because there's more carp moving in but wasn't getting any indications whatsoever for the last five minutes or so which is very unusual I'll still keep feeding it but it just gives me the perfect opportunity to have a look on the deep rig again maybe give it another top up and hope something comes over it before this session ends other than a roach fish down there taking this corn on the drop. Well, I don't think they're what we're looking for. I think they're just roach again. If we find some bream I'd be happy. Something's got hold of that. And that's fish on. Small fish though. Just took that on the drop. It's trouble when you're fishing shallow and fishing deep like this. <laughs> you just never know which section you're on. Now I need three sections on my landing net. Greedy these roach. So, got a lot of corn, a few micros, and some four mils in there now. Make up what we've got. Stick it all out there on the line. So, six balls, proper laced. So, I'm just going to go back on the shallow rigs while that settles for maybe 15 20 minutes. Then we'll have a look over it if I'm not doing anything shallow. Uh, we'll just keep feeding the shallow lines, see what comes along. It doesn't take long. So many fish shallow. Yeah, proper, proper stamped fish then. Oh, feels like a... Oh, that's a crazy roach, I think. Yeah. I thought that was an F1 the way that took. Now then there's a carp cruising. 
just out there. Oh, there's an enormous one going out in the middle of the lake. That's huge. Never stop that on the pole. There's a fish sat just off the end of the bush and I'm, well, they're clearly sunning themselves. It's not even moving that fish. If it's a carp or a tench, actually. Too far out to get with the pole. Fish on. Another amazing stamp roach. So slapping don't really seem to work for these roach. Just leaving the rig there. Eventually they'll come along and take it. Great big, great big F1 just jumped out there. So there's going to be a few moving closer. Not really F1s I'm after, but uh, I suppose the bait catching roach when you're on heavy gear at least. Low on this six mil, there's I'm getting indications, but as yet, it's not gone properly. And I would imagine that's just because it's roach still. Okay, well, we've definitely got some F1s in the swim, they're coming up shallow, so we'll try and whip one of those out. Well, I keep seeing the odd F1s, but all we can catch are the roach. There's a fish sat up on the surface again. If it gets a bit closer, we'll have a go at mugging it. does look like he's coming closer. So let's just pop that down. Here we go. 
need to get in front of him. It's precarious with the wind. Just drifting under that tree. Doesn't look interested. And I can't catch his eye. Well, the opportunity to mug one's gone. Carp, down at my feet. Look at this. Right, well, despite my best efforts to get the deep line going, um, it's still pretty much roach on it. If I put a piece of corn on, they're biting it, but it's fickle, so really hard to hook up with. Um, can't seem to find any quality fish on that line at all, so... <laughs> I don't know what you've got to do to try and draw them in. Clearly, a lot of fish want to be up in the water. And uh, I still keep seeing the odd F1 topping. Most of them seem to be, well, probably two thirds of the way out. And if it weren't so windy, then I'd have a go for them with a pellet waggler, but that's completely out of the question today. So um, I think I'll just stick with the shallow line. I was thinking about putting the method feeder up for the last hour, but. I don't think there's much point to be honest with so many fish on the surface so we'll just continue with the shallow rigs see what we can get bingo Hey up, that's not a roach. That is not a roach. Ooh, what is this? Well, it's a common. There uh, may be an F1, I'm not sure actually. It's a dark one, really dark. Yeah, it's a nice F1. So I think we made the right decision to stay shallow. Well, that's another fabulous roach.
Right guys, I'm calling it a day there. Uh, I've had a lovely day's fishing. We've caught some quality roach, shallow. Um, the icing on the cake for me was catching that tench on the mugging rig. <laughs> mugging tench, who'd have thought it? <laughs> right, um, yeah, unfortunately, you know, the deep line hasn't produced the goods. I thought we'd get a few decent fish coming over that. Uh, I was looking for a few bream as well, but <laughs> once again, the bream have eluded me. I mean, I put enough bait down there, so God knows where they live. But it is what it is. If you want to see more videos of me fishing venues just like this one around Yorkshire, then why not go and check out some of my other videos, starting with this one and this one. Right, guys, thanks for watching, and until the next one, tight lines.